so far we've gone two spiders and helmets. I guess spiders, you know, for your knowledge, are just like balloons on your shoulders. And then yesterday, or I guess a couple days ago, we had, uh, our, you know, Sunday we had our first pads practice. Again, we're not allowed to wear thigh boards, which I'm not really excited and, ha and happy about. Uh, kids are looking at us like we're crazy going out there in helmets and shoulder pads without having thigh boards. Uh, but that's the rules. It's not real safe. I don't I think it's a safety issue for our kids, so I'm not happy about that. But we had a great practice. Um, you know, our kids uh, are playing fast right now. Uh, as fast as I've seen them play. You know, you lose a lot of great players in the NFL. You go, okay, what's it going to look like? But our kids are, you know, we got a different team. You know, this is a 2021 team. I just love their attitude right now. Um, they are locked into it. I hope you see that in your first seven periods today. You'll have a chance to see a little bit. And, um, but they're, they're serious. They're locked in. And, I'm happy. So questions, I'll let you get why going. Can't, why can't you wear thigh boards and when will you be able to wear them? Uh, we'll be able to wear them with a full pack. So, uh, you know, there's been all this name image like this talk we've had, you know, uh, the NCAA made a new rule that we're only allowed to have nine days in full pads. We're allowed nine days. So that's, you know, nine days to tackle. you got to learn how to tackle and learn how to break a tackle in nine days. Otherwise, you don't get it. Uh, when we're in shells, it's just helmet, shoulder pads, nothing else. But you know how you are when you're out there and have a shoulder pad, you get a knee, a helmet, someone falls down, knees you in the thigh, and it's just a safety thing. Um, and uh, so, I mean, during the season, I think when, when we do shells, we're allowed to, I mean, I'm screaming at guys if they don't put their thigh boards in during the shells period, during the season, but this is our preseason rules. Um, so that's kind of what that is. Um, and again, the NCAA made a great decision by giving us spider pads. I mean, we go out there in shorts and we're, you know, doing a little bit of teamwork against each other, real slow outside stuff, and still, Hurt a shoulder. Every every camp we get two or three guys that get nicked up with a shoulder because someone got a helmet on the shoulder and they have absolutely no protection. So the NCAA did a great job at letting us have that, but uh, then something else got messed up. You know, it's like we really talk. I mean, we have what we call thud. You better do a good job thudding up. Okay, don't think well, I'm going to get it in my pads practice tomorrow. So every thud, every pads practice is going to be critical. Don't think, well, I'll get it tomorrow. There might not be one tomorrow. You know, it used to be we could have as many pad teams as we wanted. I mean, you based on, you know, you based it on, you know, what your kids needed, number one. You based it on, um, you, know, how, you, know, you know, how they practiced the day before. You know, you, felt, you, you based it on their health and maybe, hey, we need to cut back and just thud it up and not tackle today. But you get two or three in a row. You're not allowed to have any more than two pad teams in a row. Either. I mean, back in the day, we used to have doubles. We used to go pads in the morning, pads in the afternoon. That would be it. That's all you're allowed. So, uh, so things are limited. And how difficult can that be for the offensive line? Because we're trying to establish a nastiness. You know, I think it's okay for the O line and the D line. You know, I think it's okay. I think you can still block. You know, we're, you know, we're staying off the ground. I think it's really tough on the tackling part because that's, you know, I think you'll see, you know, I think that's going to be the key. He does the best job of coaching in the thud periods. You know, you got 18 days out of your 25 days is what you're allowed to have. So 18 out of 25, are, you know, you're allowed to put shoulder pads, but only 9 out of 25 are full pads. So that's that's what we're doing. How many full pads days were you out? Did you do previously? Gosh, I don't even know. Um, I mean, it used to be the first two days in, in spiders, then two days in shells, and then you can do whatever you want to do. It's up to you. And you actually, I think you had to have three, three spiders. So later on in camp, usually a day before scrimmage, you do it. So. I don't remember what the rules were, but it was very easy to decide that. What football questions do you have? As you mentioned speed, you know, you're playing fast. Is that just because of the athletes, or is that knowledge of what you're doing, what size is it? It's a little bit of both. I think it's a it's a little bit of you know having the athletes and, and you know, guys know what to do. I mean, I mean, you got a spring ball. I mean, last year it's like you forget how little we had. Now you have a spring ball in. You got a good summer period in where the kids are out there doing seven on seven. You see less busts. You know, just touch on a lot of different, you know, different mistakes, whether it's pre-snap penalties, you know, pre-snap alignments. You know, we're just a lot further along right now after day three. Now we got to keep keep the pace. You know, I think that's mostly sustaining and being consistent through 25 practices. You did see some action on Sunday. Who, who stood out? Who stood out? You know, Izzy stood out. You know, uh, Rodney Hammond, true freshman, stood out in the backfield. Um, you know, our receiver stood out. You know, it's hard for the D-line to stand out in the O-line, so I wanted to talk about them because they're, you know, they're spiders and you're not tackling anybody. Um, you know, Phil Campbell, Cam Bright, you know, stood out to me. John Patricia, Wendell. I mean, really, a lot of guys stood out. I mean, you did some good things. It's going to come down to who's consistent. 
way in the back end. AJ Woods had a nice day. Marquez, to me, had a really, really nice day out here the other day. I mean, he did some great things. Had a nice called blind pass breakup. Um, you know, shot battle. MJ Demchar. So I could go on and on. I mean, again, it's, it's going to be who can who sustains it. You guys get four passes on Thursday. You got to be based with the linemen for both sides. Or? Oh yeah. <laughs> you only get nine. And, you know, and I don't think we're going full pads the next day. So. Um, but you know that'll be at Heinz Field, so you guys will see that Heinz Field. Maybe give you a bigger look at EJ and let you um, be up to EJ. Um, but you can watch it or not. Um, but no, that's going to be a big game. I mean, it's packed, and it's and that's why these stud periods. You know, we can't go into Thursday like, hey, coach, I never tackled before. No, we've been teaching you how to tackle by staying up. You know, and I also think it's tough on the running backs because it's a two-way street. The running backs are dropping their pads like you might in a game. Because if you drop your pads and the defense guy knows some we were in line. Okay, so to me, when you're going thud, it's gotta be a you know, a truce between the running back and the, and the defenders that you hate. If you don't drop your head, I won't try to you know take your knees out. So you mentioned the You feel this is the easiest kind of linebacker No question about it. I mean, a few years ago I remember looking out on that field about you know, right near about that clock, I was like, where is everybody? Like where are they? have it. Uh, but yeah, it's a deep group and, you know, try to get a lot, you know, good look at a lot of guys. I think Dolly had a nice day the other day. A lot of mentioned his name. You know, Leslie Smith, you know, shows spurts. You know, he still doesn't know how to practice. He's, he's taking people out. I mean, but that goes with reps and you know what to do. So. If you can't coach or practice the kind of physicality you want to have in a game a lot of the time, does that make it more important to have guys coming in that sort of have that innately, that you're not trying to, to coach that up? Yeah, I mean, you better. I mean, hopefully we're recruiting some football players, but, you know, we're going to be aggressive. We're going to be, you know, we're going we're gonna to be physical. I don't care. If we gave us two pads today, we're going to find a way. We'll be physical. It won't be a – we'll be physical we're going to attack. That's a pitch. The, the nine practices won't be excused. Everybody's got the same. So we're going to make do. we got great coaches. We'll get that done. You've got to walk through coming up like that. Yeah. Is EJ going to let us watch scrimmage on Saturday? May. No, maybe Thursday at Heinz Field. Uh, we've got a new guy on campus today, uh, Eric Kasparovich. You know, pit man, uh, pit grad, obviously, uh, has, you know, taken on a quality control job with us. Uh, it's a volunteer job uh, where he's going to come in and obviously just kind of partake in what we do. So we're happy to have him on staff. It's a great, great addition. Obviously, a super coach and an even better person. So you had to recruit? No. no. Coach. Okay, coach, I'm...